Hawkeye just finished up its run on Disney Plus and was created by Jonathan Iglis and stars Jeremy Renner and Haley Steinfeld and mainly focuses on the character of Kate Bishop who becomes involved in a plot to kill Hawkeye and so she teams up with Hawkeye to try to uncover this mystery of what exactly is going on that leads to something a lot deeper. Guys, I'm excited to finally talk about Hawkeye. This is a series that I was actually not looking forward to that much. I wasn't hyped about Hawkeye pretty much at all, but I did like the idea of it being set around Christmas time because it just gave it itself its own kind of identity that's different from the rest of the MCU. I was also excited because I have really been enjoying, for the most part, a lot of the stuff that has come from Phase 4 of the MCU, and I was excited to see where they would go with characters that we know, as well as new, brand new characters such as Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld, and I was pleasantly surprised that Hawkeye ended up being one of my favorite shows to come out of the MCU so far for Phase 4, and also it's one of my favorite Phase 4 things, period. Now, it's not a perfect show. There are plenty of flaws with it, and I wouldn't say that I love it, but it was incredibly enjoyable, heartfelt, and very well acted, and really touched on some things that I found rather interesting and brought in some new faces that I can really get attached to and even continued storylines that were set up in previous movies. So I was very giddy watching this show as it evolved and changed throughout it and overall a fun time. So let's get into the stuff I really enjoy and first off I have to talk about Haley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. This character is phenomenal. I love this character so much. From the very beginning, she is so likable, and you really get on her side. She is wonderful. I love how she admires Hawkeye in this way that I feel like audiences really haven't, because for the most part, Hawkeye has always been people's least favorite Avenger in a lot of ways, and then we have this character, Kate Bishop, who is inspired by Hawkeye at a very young age when the Avengers first assembled. And it has a profound effect on her, making her want to be like him. And that, I thought, was really, really incredible. But also, Haley Steinfeld just does a wonderful job of making this character extremely endearing, likable and very very witty. I love her scenes with Jeremy Renner as they banter back and forth. They feel like this brother sister um father daughter type team and they work so well off of each other. And Jeremy Renner is also excellent in this show, perhaps giving his best performance of the MCU aside for maybe that one scene that's in Endgame, but he is really good, and the character, I like that they are giving him something to deal with. The tragic loss of Natasha, Black Widow, has a profound effect on him. He has a lot of PTSD, he's dealing with hearing loss, and a lot of that is very interesting in making this character a little bit more grounded than he originally was, and I like what the MCU has been doing with Phase 4 by really focusing in on character a whole lot more and making them feel like real people. I thought it was very, very well done. Also, I have to talk about our sort of kind of villain of the show, played by Alonqua Cox, who plays this character Echo. And, and Alonqua Cox is, in real life, um, deaf. And so they really play into that character, and I think it was handled wonderfully. I love this character so much because she has a reason to be going after Hawkeye. Because a lot of things happened previously in her life that caused a lot of uproar, mainly when Hawkeye became the character of Ronan, which he was in the beginning of 
Avengers Endgame. And that was always something I was rather disappointed by when it came to Endgame was Hawkeye becoming this character Ronan for a little bit of a scene and then just completely disregarding it. I'm glad that this show focused back in on that and showed the consequences of his actions. Does it do it perfectly? Not exactly, but it is something that I did like. I also really like the character of Echo, and I think she's very well done and very interesting as well and compelling. I like having a compelling villain as well. Also, the tracksuit mafia is just a really fun kind of obstacle for Hawkeye and Kate Bishop to deal with. I think they are a lot of fun too. Also, the show has a ton of heart. It is around the Christmas time, but it is also filled with so much joy and fun, and it's really, really funny. I laughed quite a bit during this show. There's also some really awesome reveals of characters that I never thought we would ever really see in the MCU or we thought we were in the MCU and then they weren't and then they are. I'm mainly talking about the character of Wilson Fisk Kingpin played by Vincent D'Onofrio who returns in this show and it was really awesome seeing him back in this role. He is fantastic. He plays it exactly kind of how he played it in the series Daredevil. However, I do wish that there was more of him overall. Also, it was great seeing the character of Yelena once again, played by Florence Pugh, who is after Hawkeye. If you watch the end credits of um, Black Widow, you'll know that she was tasked with trying to find Clint Barton and kill him. And there's a lot of great stuff there, a lot of great tension, a lot of issues that have to be addressed because um, Yelena really feels like Hawkeye killed her sister. And obviously that's not the case. So there's a lot of tension there that I think is very well done. However, I do need to get into my negatives now with this show, and a lot of it has to do with too much and too little. There is a lot of stuff going on in this show, from the plot to kill Hawkeye. There are multiple people trying to kill Hawkeye. There are multiple storylines going on. Hawkeye has to deal with what he did as the character Ronan, um, basically turning the character of Echo into an orphan, and that is why she is after him. But then you also have Yelena, who is after Hawkeye because of, you know, her sister's death, thinking that he was directly responsible for her death. And then you have obviously Kingpin coming into the mix, and it is a lot. And they don't really focus on a lot of this until mainly the last two episodes of the show. And this is only six episodes, so there is so much setup, and then very little payoff, which is the same problem I had with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I felt like that show really took its time and then just kind of fell flat in the last little bit of the show. I feel like this series needed to at least be seven or eight episodes to get across its story and just let its story breathe for a little bit because there is a lot of stuff just pushed into the last act of the show, much like with Falcon and the Winter Soldier. However, I ended up liking this so much more than Falcon and the Winter Soldier because it really was still able to have a lot of fun, whereas Falcon and the Winter Soldier was dealing with a lot of heavy themes that just kind of fell flat because they didn't have time. Here, there's not really a main theme to go with, but there are a ton of storylines that just feel a little muddled by the end and don't feel as satisfying. However, I can say that the final episode overall 
was an absolute blast. I was giddy. It was so much fun, and it was really interesting seeing where things would go, and also where things will go after the show is over. So overall, guys, I really enjoyed Hawkeye. I thought it was a fun, heartwarming show with great character moments. However, I think it suffers from some pacing issues and also just a lack of time to really focus in on things that they set up but just didn't have time to let breathe and let settle in. And I think that is kind of a problem that I am seeing with these MCU shows is that they're just really light in the beginning by, you know, setting things up and then they just kind of crowd everything in the last two episodes, which I feel is a huge mistake. But overall, really enjoyed this, had a lot of fun. Love seeing Jeremy Renner. Loved Haley Steinfeld. I can't wait to see her more in the MCU as well as Florence Pugh. So anyway, guys, with all that said, I'm going to give Hawkeye a 7 out of 10. Well, guys, I want to thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and stay positive.